the brake switch is located, if you find the brake pedal, it is up and it is blue. Sometimes they're black and gray, but that is your brake switch right there. And the way that you remove it is you will twist it clockwise and you'll see that it has that blue tab sitting at the bottom that holds it in. And when you depress the brake pedal, this piece releases. You can see how it's releasing from the piece of metal. And then that allows the circuit to get completed, which then allows the brakes to engage. So what we'll go ahead and do is replace this. Reach up in there and rotate it. So I'm rotating it clockwise. And then you just pull it out. And once it's pulled out, you can get to the connector. So as you look here, there's a connector. Whoop. As you look here, there's a connector. As you look here, there's a connector, and we'll go ahead and remove that little connector. That connector, to remove it, you'll press down on this tab here, right there, and remove it. Once you have the old unit out, you can just compare them to one another to make sure that they're okay, and then go ahead and reinstall it. And that connector just goes right into here. So you'll just make sure that these connectors are the same, which they are, so you can go ahead and reinstall. Now to reinstall, you'll go back into your position here and you can, you'll get back into position and you'll see that hole right there. That's where it's gonna go. And you'll just re reverse the installation. So I like to install the connector first. So what I'll do here is grab this connector doing this with one hand, so please bear with me. And just press the connector in until you have a nice audible click. So you'll re-click the connector. And with the connector reconnected, if you look at the top, there's just a little tab right here. And you depress that tab and separate the connector. Now to reinstall, what you'll do is you'll put it back up into its position, rotate it clockwise, put it into its keeper, press down, and then rotate it counterclockwise until it clips itself into its position. Then, when you push down on the brake and that doesn't touch anymore, then your brake lights will turn on.